Hey, what's everybody? It's Anchor 414 here. Today I'm going to be showing you SNES running on my unjailbroken new iPad. So first let me show you that it is the new iPad. So it does have the dictation key on the keyboard, as you can see. And it will dictate whatever I say. Hello. And it just dictated that. And it is running 5.1. See that? It's running 5.1. Alright, so what you will need is a developer's account to sign apps because you need to sign the app on your iPad. And the devel developer account is $99 a year, and you have to be able to sign the app on your iPad. So let me show you a little bit demo, a little demo of it working. So um, you also need an iPhone or iPod to use as a controller. So you can see I'm going to be using my iPod as a controller. It also has a SNES app on there and uh, it's gonna look for my iPad so here has my iPad's name on there and I'm just gonna tap that and the iPad found the iPod so I'm gonna hit accept and then I can start the ROM so there you can see the Nintendo logo and Super Mario All-Stars and I can choose whatever game I want and here is the iPod um, and I can choose whatever game I want so there's Super Mario Super Mario The Lost Levels uh, Super Mario 2 Super Mario 3 and I'm using my iPod as a controller as you can see and again guys this is on jailbroken does not have Cydia or Root Access just a new iPad and it has all those games I'm just going to choose the original Super Mario because that's my favorite one. And start. And uh, I'm going to use my iPod as a controller. Um, Alright, I want to use it as a one player game. There you can see I'm using my iPod as a controller, and it is pretty cool. It works pretty good. And it's pretty cool that I can have this without being jailbroken. Only downside is that you do need an Apple developer account to use this. And uh, the GitHub link will be in the description um, in case you do want to put this on your iPad if you're a developer. And it works pretty cool. It's pretty cool having the uh, original Super Mario on there. And it's pretty cool using uh, an iPod or iPhone as an external controller. And it works pretty much the same way uh, the original Super Nintendo would work. And uh, it's pretty cool. You can shoot the fireballs. And anyway, guys, that's pretty much about it. Um, all, your, all the links will be in the description. The GitHub link will be in the description if you uh, want to do this. Again, you do, you do need to have an Apple developer's account, which does require a Mac. So you will need uh, a Mac and uh, an Apple developer's account to do this. I was just showing you guys this. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much about it. Later.